Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video I will show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive in your MacBook Pro to a solid state hard drive. As you know by doing this you will get an amazing performance and speed upgrade. Now it's actually a very easy process. All you do is swap the existing hard drive with a solid state hard drive. Uh, before I show you how to make the swap, the physical swap, you have to make a choice. You can either install the operating system as a fresh install by using your install CD that came with your Mac or you can use a bootable USB flash drive that has Mac operating system on it. That's the first option. The second option, you can migrate your existing system from the old hard drive to the new solid state hard drive by using a time machine backup and restore utility. Now, I will actually do a time machine backup, swap the hard drive, reinstall the Mac operating system, and restore all of my existing data to the new solid state hard drive. Okay, so remember that sequence. Do a time machine backup, swap the hard drive, reinstall the operating system, the Mac operating system, and then restore all my existing data to a new solid state hard drive using my time machine backup. So let me show you exactly what to do in this case. Now before I proceed, here's the tools you need to accomplish this task. And you can see all these tools on the screen. Uh, you need a 00 Phillips screwdriver, a Torx T6 screwdriver, a solid state hard drive, and obviously your uh, MacBook Pro. And I will be using a USB flash drive to reinstall my Mac Lion operating system. Okay, so the first step is to actually go into the settings on your MacBook Pro and navigate to Time Machine. Make sure Time Machine is turned to on. It can be turned off or on. So make sure it's on and that you recently did a backup. So in my case, my latest backup was done today at 6.02 p.m. And the next backup is due 7.03 p.m. Now make sure your hard drive is connected um, and you have a recent backup, like I said. Once you have that, you're good to go and move on to the next step. But before we move on to the next step, I just want to let you know you can skip this step if all you're trying to do is upgrade your MacBook Pro with a solid state hard drive and do a fresh install of Mac operating system. Now in my case, I'm going to do a complete restore. So I'll back this up and I'll restore this uh, system to my new solid state hard drive. So that is why I'm doing this. You can skip this step, like I said, if you're not going to do that. Okay, so let's move on to the next step, which is the actual swapping of the hard drive. All right, so this is the back side of my MacBook Pro, and using a 00 Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to remove all the 10 screws on the back cover of my MacBook Pro. So after taking out the screws, just pull the back cover off just like that. And that is the hard drive right there. And then we're going to remove two more screws right there. That's one, two. You're going to be using a Phillips screwdriver uh, to pull these guys out. Oh, this is a little strip that's holding the hard drive down. The screws are not going to come out. They're just going to loosen the strip. And then once the uh, strip is loose, you just pull out the screws. I mean the, the strip. Okay, so let's uh, pull out the strip. There you go, and then just put that aside and uh, pull the hard drive out very, very carefully because it's still attached to the computer uh, with the SATA cable. Okay, so I want you to slowly ease off the SATA cable off of the hard drive and put the hard drive aside. Now look at the old hard drive. There's four screws around the edges of this hard drive. We're going to use the Torx T6 screwdriver to remove all these and put them on the solid state hard drive. Ok, 
Okay, so I have uh, transferred all the screws to the solid state hard drive on all the four edges. And now we're going to connect this um, to the SATA connector on the, on the uh, motherboard and put it in place. So let's do that real quick. Okay, make sure it's the right side. And only go on one side, so it's not that hard to miss. So snap that in place. Make sure it's snug. And then put the hard drive back into its bay. Okay. Only goes in one way, so you cannot make a mistake. Perfect. Okay, so let's put the strip back on the solid state hard drive so it doesn't move around. So once again, using the Phillips screwdriver, tighten the screws. There we go, nice and snug. And then just put the cover back on the system. Rescrew all the 10 screws using the Phillips screwdriver, and you're good to go. Let's switch over to our Mac and see what to do next. Okay, so here's my MacBook Pro flipped over and ready to go. So the new solid state hard drive is inside it right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bootable USB flash drive with Mountain Lion operating system on it. I'm going to plug this to this computer, turn it on, and follow the instructions. Now, I do have a video that shows you how to put a uh, bootable how to create a bootable USB flash drive with Mountain Lion operating system on it. And I'm going to put a link in the description section below so you can follow the instructions if you want to create your own. You can also use the, uh, the CD that came with your Mac. Now if you didn't get a CD then you're going to have to make this one. And um, let's plug this to my Mac. And then simply power the Mac up. It's going to take a couple minutes. It's going to boot to the um, to the Mac OS utilities. Okay, so there we have the OS 10 utilities. The first step is to actually let me zoom this in real quick. just like that. And the first step is to go to the disk utility, press continue, and then find the solid state hard drive right here. Go to erase and repartition this whole thing. So type in solid state hard drive and click erase you have to do this step before you can do anything else okay it's a very easy process so as you can see we just created a new partition that is named solid state hard drive so once you're done I want you to exit out of this disk utility and now, what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall the operating system. Remember, you can either reinstall a fresh copy, or you can do a restore from a time machine backup. But even to do the restore, you have to first reinstall the operating system. So, if you want a fresh install, after you do this reinstall operating system, you don't have to do this. Okay, so, and then you'll be done. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click reinstall operating uh, system right here, and click continue and this is a long and boring process so I'm not gonna have you guys watch the whole thing Go and just make sure you pick the solid state hard drive double tap on it install okay and this will load into my Mac operating system and I'll be back when that is over I'm gonna show you how to do a time machine restore but but really you're done but I'll be back. 
So here's my computer. It just loaded into the operating system after the installation was complete from the previous uh, step. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you that how quick this laptop is. Okay, so let's uh, launch Finder. Boom. Comes right up. Uh, let's launch iTunes. That was instantaneous. That's not possible with a regular hard drive. Uh, let's do Calendar. Pop. Instantaneous. Okay. So that is a speed boost you get and in many any many more ways you'll get other speed boosts but especially when it comes to launching the applications it's lightning fast. Now so this is a this is a clean and fresh copy of the operating system running on the solid state hard drive. What you want to do is go to applications go to utilities and find migration assistant you double click that okay let's uh and then you pick how do you want to transfer your information from a mac pc time machine backup or other disk i want to do time machine backup okay right here so i'm going to click uh continue once the password pop it in click okay continue Okay, give it a second. It's looking for hard drives that actually have data on them, backup data. Okay, so I found one. So there's two options here from a Mac or a PC or from a time machine backup. That's what, exactly what I want. So click that, click continue. It recognizes my, my, my uh, attached hard drive, which is a Macintosh HD. And HD means hard drive in this case click continue and these are all my backup files from my old hard drive so my users are here I used to have one user called count it's 33 gigabytes so I just close that up my applications are right here that I can transfer over and I can unclick whatever I don't need so if I don't want the users I can take them off and I can simply transfers applications or I can transfer my existing users that I had in my other PC after you're ready to transfer what you want just click continue and it's going to be a, a long process it's going to be based on how much uh, data you have migrating over to this guy but um, that's the process I'm not going to do it I'm, I actually prefer the clean install but that is the that is the way to do it so go to the migration assistant and do a backup from a time machine backup. Well, thank you for watching this video, guys. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments section. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and give me a give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. There's going to be more videos about upgrades on Mac computers. Okay. And uh, thank you again. Have a good day.